Yo what is going on everyone welcome to a new MLB video where today we have some news to discuss about some players popping off in spring training and also a player that was playing pretty well and is now going down to the mi minors. So starting off with Shohei Otani he in five games for the Angels he has been playing really well as most of you guys probably know he can pitch and hit so he has elite talent and a lot of skills hitting wise he's nine for 15 with three home runs and I'm pretty sure all three of them have gone over like 460 feet so that's pretty um, impressive and then he also only has one strikeout one walk and he, so he's been playing very well offensively um, pitching wise he's given up six runs in four innings so that's a little bit of concern but he does have nine strikeouts so he is striking out a lot of people from what I've seen in limited clips of Otani even though he has given up some walks and some runs his velocity is there his movement is there he looks pretty good um, so it's going to be interesting to see if he can harness it so his ERA isn't skyrocketing and he can do both because if he is on top of his game and hitting 300 and has an ERA of under 3, he's going to be something special to watch. So everyone watch out for Otani. He's looking pretty good. Just needs to get some of his command issues under control. Bobby Witt Jr., another player that is being very impressive at spring training for the Kansas City Royals. Obviously, he won't make camp with the team because of service manipulation time, or service time manipulation, I should say. Um, so that's a little bit sad for him because he has to stay with the organization for an extra year. But a good news for Kansas City Royals fans because he is going to be something special. He's a shortstop that can pretty much do it all. I don't want to compare him to anyone yet because I know a lot of you guys will probably think I'm jumping the gun. But he really can do it all. He plays great defense, great speed. He scored from second base uh, on a ground that didn't leave the infield almost like Tatis did, except it was from second base, and he can hit for power, he hit a ball like 484 feet or something like that, so he really has all the tools that a person can have, so good news to watch out for as a Kansas City fan. And then our last story, Wander Franco, the number one base, uh, baseball prospect, was reassigned to the minor league camp. He was playing fairly well with Tampa Bay. He had a monster home run in one of the spring training games. He's looked very good, but there is some more improvement to be made. This also could just be another service time manipulation move by the Tampa Bay Rays. I don't know if Franco is 100% ready to play. Maybe the Rays bring him up, but the Rays do have a pretty stacked infield right now, so it would be hard for him to get some playing time. But Vidal Brujan is another Rays top prospect, and he is expected to make the team because of an injury suffered uh, to Brett Phillips. So it looks like Brujan is going to be making the team, and Franco might spend another year or maybe just start the season off in the minor leagues. But Tampa Bay has a bright future ahead of them. They got a really low payroll and a lot of good young talent on that team. So if you are a Rays fan, good news to watch out for. Watch out for Franco. If you are a Royals fan, be happy you have Wood Jr. because I'm telling you he's going to be something special. And then Otani, if he can harness his skills, he is also doing some special things. So let me know who you are most excited to watch this spring training. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news. See you guys in the next one.